to show life. It's a recording. Okay. Um, so one of the things that you need to understand is the whole concept of interval notation. I strongly recommend that you copy this chart down. It's on page 1228 in your book. And we've kind of talked about this in the way we did problems last night, but this is just to, to make it more concrete. This is interval. Was, were these endpoints included? They're not included. They're not included. Why are they not included? How do you know that? Because Looking it's at a parenthesis. Because it's a parenthesis. Okay, so this chart basically tells you, it gives you the interval notation, then it tells you what it looks like in set builder notation. How do we say this? Again, remember how you say this? Uh, well, I know you don't remember. The set of all such. The set of all, what's that? The X. set of all X. Such that, and then it's A is less than, than X. X is less than B. No, there's no equal there, less oh, than B. Okay. okay, so the set of all X such that A, and then, okay. So this is an interval. This is how you would write it in set notation. And then this is how you do the graph. Again, the graph has parentheses and the endpoints. In this case, we have, what is that called again? Right. We have a bracket. What do brackets mean? It's included. It's included. How do we know it's included when we use the inequality symbol? Close circle. No, inequality symbol. How do we know what the inequality symbol? Because it's the um, equal to. The equal to, right. We have the equal to. Now, see. I thought we did, well, see, they change up. Okay, you can also, we can also add the third column, because I thought in the book the other day they did closed circles, didn't they? Did. They? they did closed circles and open circles. He was trying to find the brackets. Okay, I knew, oh, thank you, because I'm getting to think I was crazy. Okay, and I know y'all think I am. Let me see, if I move the screen up for a minute, what I think, will we be able to still see it? Because I'll write on the board. Or is that too dark? Uh, no. That's not going to work. Okay, so scratch that thought. All right. What I'm going to do here then on this sideboard here is then, so where we have parentheses, you can also write this where you had a closed circle. No, I'm sorry. An open circle on an open circle, okay? Mm -hmm. so you do the open circle, open circle. Here you could do a solid circle and a solid circle, okay? Now here, which endpoint is included here and which one isn't? A is included. A is included. What's not included? B is not included. B. And so then that's that graph. Again, we could have this as the closed circle and the open circle. And it takes you through all of the different, the only one it doesn't take you through do you notice anything missing based on what we did? No. The only thing missing is where we had no solution, okay? If it's no solution, there is no graph. Okay, and you and you graph it and you put it in set notation as the empty set. Okay? Um and this goes then as an empty set, how what you mean by that? I didn't just two. Uh, that's not. They're not called brackets. What are they called? Yeah. Braces. Braces. Yeah, just two braces. Two empty braces. Two empty braces. Okay. And then the graph. <laughs> and then the graph. Right, do we make the open well, circle with the line through it? Well, the graph. You don't put anything on it. You actually leave the graph blank. Uh -huh. Whereas, if you notice when they're graphing, and it's hard to differentiate this on the board or on the screen, is parts that aren't included are in black here. Okay. Well, in this case, everything's red. Well, if it's the empty set, it's just going to be a, the line with nothing on it. Okay. So you're not you're not going to shade anything in. Okay. So I encourage you, particularly if the interval notation information is screwy to you, that you copy this um, page down, this chart down, and memorize it. Key hints: if it is included, included from the Inequality symbols means an equal under the less than or greater than. If it's not included, it is just less than or greater than. 
And then with the graph, it is, if it is included, it's either going to be our bracket or a closed circle. And it seems like he's using both in the same book, and I forget what he uses on the, on the exam, but you'll, you'll see it. Okay, and then if it's not included, it'll be a parentheses or an open circle. They all mean the same thing. And I think that when they were doing this, they just forgot that it was inconsistent. Are there any questions? Oh, um, they cannot copy the rest of this. Anymore. It's in your book on page 1228. Write that it's in, on page 1228, and let's move on. You get a half a second while I'm 